Hey, Matt. Um, Lane was just talking about, you know, the first time you're having a spring with this offense. It's obviously the first time you've had any continuity in your Ole Miss career from year to year, coordinator to coordinator. How do you anticipate that helping you? Um, you know, just building on <clears throat> what, we, what we did last year, really. You know, I, now I know we know what we have on, on the offensive side of ball and just, uh, just growing on that. And, you know, like he said earlier, <clears throat> we, know, we, we know my mistakes and we know what to work on. So, you know, they're harping me every day on, on what to get better at. And it's, 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 not a, it's nothing that I don't know. We all know that I need, to, I need to work on it. So, I mean, just taking the leap that I made last year to this year. A year ago, you know, you were fighting for a starting job. Now people are talking about you in the Heisman race, the, the All-American competition, all that kind of stuff. You're getting a completely different level of hype. Is that something you embrace, or do you have to, to block it out, or do you even acknowledge it? Uh, I don't even acknowledge it. Good, Nick. With those expectations, you don't acknowledge them. Do you recognize them? Do you I mean, understand why? people were talking about it or are you just not even thinking about it? No, I mean, yeah, I hear it. I hear it around, but I mean, I'm just trying to focus on being the best teammate player I can be. So which areas do you want to improve this spring? My leadership, which, you know, I did a good job of just being a vocal leader last year, but now just growing on that and just being that dude, that, that, that guy that has that it factor of when he walks in the room that he is take, like he is fully like people know that I am a present in that seat, you know, just bringing that type of energy to a film room, to a team and the guys in the huddle when I'm when I'm making that play, when I'm when I'm making that play call that they know that I got them. Go to Parrish. Hey, man, last year, proportionally, it seemed like most balls <coughs> to Elijah. Uh, do you expect that production to be spread around more as y'all kind of transition to a, a different guy in the spot? Uh, you know, I really don't know. I'm just playing the system how it's supposed to be played. Um, yeah, Elijah was a dominant target because of who he was and the type of chemistry I had with him. But you know, I'm just going to do my job and get to, get it to the man who's open. Go to Tyler. <clears throat> Matt, can you talk a little bit about your interaction with Eli Manning on Friday and what he told you? Uh, you know, we we're just we we're just talking about general stuff. Just nothing, nothing too deep. Just. It, really int introducing each other because I that was really the first time I really got to talk to him. I got to talk to him a little bit at the Manning, uh, the Manning camp, but I got sick. Uh, I was there for a day and I got to talk to him for like a minute and I got sick the next that night and I had to go home. So, you know, it was really cool meeting him and a good, ex good experience for sure. <clears throat> go to David. Hey Matt, what, what have been your early impressions of Luke Altmaier? He's a smart kid. He's very smart. He picks. He's a fast learner, and uh, like Kiffin said, he's a natural natural thrower.